The Weed of the Week brought to you by Show Me Short Line and the Richiger Flexigrain Storage System. Affordable, flexible storage is here. Richiger R-Series bagger and unloader from Show Me Short Line. Maximize your profits with adaptable storage and management. Reduce storage costs and gain a competitive edge by selling at the right time. Visit us online at showmeshortline.com. Walking through our weed of the week, and if you see a little bit of grass here, you may say, oh, it must be a grass. No, it's not a grass. It's this broadleaf weed that takes over in field approaches and driveways. It's common knotweed. Yeah, and common knotweed is kind of tough to control too. What happens is it starts creeping out into fields and a lot of products that are great on just about every other broadleaf just don't seem to quite do it on knotweed. On our farm, we use some Callisto. I forgot all about this and Darren said, oh yeah, Callisto we use. That didn't work. <laughs> well, so. it, Brian forgot about it because it's not his favorite product <laughs> in corn, you know. He, not that there's anything wrong with Callisto because we do use some Callisto on the farm in certain fields, but when we've got some of these really tough to control weeds, the product we like is status in corn. It seems to have a little broader spectrum of control. Yeah, so to control common knotweed in a situation like this, if it's a ditch or a driveway or something, you can use 2,4-D, you can high use- High rates of 2,4-D, yes, that's very, the problem. very high rates of 2,4-D, or dicamba, which would be banvil or clarity, or you could go status. We think that is the best product on knotweed in corn or in situations like this. And the tough thing with knotweed is it kind of likes these compacted areas. So we don't usually have great crop canopy or real thick grass in those areas to kind of shade it out. So you do want to take care of it early. In soybeans, if you're doing some tillage, you're going to wipe out knotweed already. Treflan does a decent job. Putting some Valor with it is even better. Post-emerge in soybeans, if they aren't Roundup Ready soybeans, all you can really do is ding that knotweed. I haven't really seen anything that's completely wiped it out. Yep, in Roundup beans, you're going to need two quarts of Roundup in wheat. It's it's really not that tough because the knotweed is so low to the ground, the wheat will generally choke it out. And many of the products, especially if you're throwing in a little 2,4-D or let's say some husky, you'll have some activity, but the 2,4-D products are gonna be much better than about anything else in wheat. Well, that's it for our Weed of the Week common knotweed, but there's more Ag PhD to come after this.